Hi there, Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and this video covers about arrays in more details. Previous video, if you have not watched, please go ahead and watch the video. The link for the same is provided in the description. We already discussed why do we need arrays, what are arrays and how do we declare arrays. This video focuses on the concept of arrays that is what do you mean by indexing of an array, how do you declare or create an array and how do you basically assign values or access a value from the array. So there are basically three steps that we do whenever we talk about arrays. First is declaration. So the way we declare any variable, arrays are also normal variables just with the special capabilities of holding more than one values, we definitely have to declare that. So declaration is, if I want to store integer values int, the name of the variable arr, that is the array variable, it can be anything, it's just a variable name, followed by the square brackets. This is the syntax. Remember, in Java, you do not specify the size at the time of declaration. This is an error. So always when you declare the array, you just have the empty square brackets and you do not write the size over here. But you remember we discussed that size is very important because we need to know how many elements an array can store. That's where the second step comes into picture that is creation. We need to create the array. That means we are basically defining the size or I can say how many elements an array can store. To define the size, we have already declared the array. So the variable name is equals to, we use a special keyword called as new. This keyword basically helps you to allocate memory for an array. We need to allocate memory for values of type integers. So we say new, allocate memory for values of type integer. And I want to store how many integer values? Five. So in the square bracket, I write the size. So make sure you do not write the size at the time of declaration, but you write the size at the time of creation. One more important thing is, we know that int as a data type stores or occupies four bytes of memory. In an array, I am storing five values of integer types. So the total memory occupied by this array is five values into the size of each value that is four, that is 20 bytes of memory. Okay, if it was char, char requires two bytes, five into two is 10. If it was long, long requires 8 bytes, so 8 into 5, that is 40 bytes. That is how the size or the memory required for an array is calculated. One more very important thing to remember at the time of creation is, we have already declared the array over here. So when you write this syntax of creation, you don't write this. So I will not say arr square bracket is equals to new int and the size. This is wrong. We have already declared this variable as a type of array. At the time of creation, I just use the variable name without the square brackets equal to and I allocate the memory. In case you want to write both the steps in one line, it is allowed. Or I can combine step one and step two in one line. I can say int followed by the variable name followed by the square brackets is equals to new int and initialize with the size. We have already seen this syntax. Okay. Now the third step is assignment or I can say I want to initialize the values in the array. Right. Now, how do we initialize? Let's understand how arrays work. If we have a normal variable x and I say 10. So I have a x variable that has a memory location where the value 10 is stored. No issues because it's just a normal variable. As opposed to that, we have a, this variable arr which is pointing to a memory location 
capable of storing five values. Remember indexing. So arrays works extensively on indexes. Indexes always starts with zero. And if an array can store five elements, I go till one, two, three and four. So if I just go ahead and say print ARR dot length. So length is again a special property in the arrays, which helps me to find out the number of elements an array can hold. And remember this length gives me five. So it gives me the number of elements an array can store. It does not gives me the last index of the element. This is very, very important, right? Now suppose I store values in the array. Say I have 10, I have 20, I have five, two, nine. Now graphically I can just represent, I created a row and I marked it with five columns and I can just store five values. So I can say at index zero, I have a value 10. Index one, I have a value 20. Index two, I have a value five and so on. But how do we resemble this programmatically? So to do it, I want to assign value 10 at index zero. How do I do that? I have the array variable ARR square bracket, I specify the index where I want to assign the value is equals to 10. Then I say ARR of 1 is equals to 20. ARR of 2 is equals to 5. ARR of 3 is equals to 2. And ARR of 4 is equals to 9. Now, if I say ARR of 5 will be an error because my index starts from 0, can hold 5 elements, it goes till 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there is no index that is 5, this gives an error. So even though the length prints the number of elements, but index goes always length minus 1. We have seen I can declare a variable, I can create a variable, I say suppose size 3 and I can assign the values a of 0 is 10, a of 1 is 2 and suppose a of 2 is 15. I can do declaration, creation, initialization or I can combine these two steps and I can say int a is equals to new int of 3 or I can combine all these three steps and write in one line I declare the variable a which is of type array I have to specify the size but I also need to initialize at the same time we use curly braces I need to initialize value 10 to 15 right so I have declared I have initialized and the creation happens automatically based on number of elements in the array so this particular array is allocated 3 into 4 that is 12 bytes of memory capable of holding three values so we can also have all the three steps in one line remember this is curly braces and again this particular value is at index 0 it's always the first value at index 0 second value at index 1 and third value at index 2 so with this we come to an end of this video next video we will see all these things programmatically and we will also see how we can use loops for iterating over the arrays till then happy learning take care and bye bye